how much is it going to cost you to run one of these cars now, I think this is a bit of an open-ended question because it differs for everybody and every owner who has one of these cars because if you're not like me and you're not stupid, then you wouldn't daily this car. You would have it as a weekend car and a car to enjoy whenever you please. But you don't drive it every single day. Now, I'm stupid enough to buy it and drive it every single day without fail. Now, that comes at a cost and a very high cost at that. So. We're gonna go through how much it costs me to run, how much is it insure, tax, petrol, everything. We're gonna go through it all today. So we all know what engine comes in these cars. It is a four liter V8. And with that big engine comes a lot of maintenance and you need to stay on top of it with these cars. I recently had a low oil flash on. So it told me I need to put a liter of oil in it. So I did, but you obviously need to go and buy that oil. If you can't do yourself, it's with garage, but that oil costs money and you don't have to put any oil in this car. You have to put proper oil in this car. You, they say liquid molly, 10W60. I didn't put liquid molly, I just put BMW's approved 10W60 in. Now, it isn't cheap. These cars have, I think it's eight and a half liters or in and around eight and a half liters of oil. So if you want to do an oil change, you have to buy the filter as well and the oil. Now, every liter of oil costs 24 pounds and there's eight, to nine of them you do the maths and that is without paying somebody to do the labor and as well as other things on the car that you need to do but stuff like that they all add up I again put a liter in it cost me 25 quid for one liter I bought two and I did it myself that's just a, a cost saving thing that I did but if you couldn't do that take to a dealer but you're gonna have to pay a bit of dough I also recently had an engine fault pop up so that was a camshaft sensor that I had to buy and as well as that, it is popped back up with a different fault. Now, it's telling me that it has a, a brake booster. I'll put a picture on the screen of what it actually said. Now, that is essentially a sensor that I needed to buy and I bought it today actually, and it was 150 pounds. And I'm gonna fit that myself because I don't even wanna know what it costs a BMW to get it fitted. So I'm doing that myself. There'll be another video on that and how to do it. But another cost is another 150 pound for a, a random sensor, another random sensor that's gone, which I did say in a past video, sensors are a major problem on these cars and it proves it. So in the two months that I've owned this car, I've had to buy two liters of oil, a vacuum sensor and a camshaft sensor. Now I'll put the figure on the screen now and that is just in two months of ownership. And then we haven't even got into the fuel cost, the insurance cost or the tax. Now the tax on this car, ridiculous. I'm pretty sure it's top band tax and it's obviously because of the engine, but it is absolutely extortionate. For me, I don't pay it off in full. If you wanted to pay it off in full, you will have to pay a whopping 735 pounds per year. And that has gone up from last year. So I don't even know if it's gonna go up again, but it went up from last year. So expect it to go up again. 735 pounds a year to tax this just to get it roadworthy ridiculous and if you're like me and you don't want to pay off for when you want to pay off monthly which is again what i do it actually goes up because of interest so it's actually 770 pound a year so another 35 quid but 770 pound which is absolutely extortionate to tax a car now, before you do all of this for your car, you still have to buy the car, unfortunately. Now, these cars aren't cheap at all. They are fetching around 15 to 20,000 pounds for a higher mileage one that is full service history. That is an uncategorized one. A categorized one, you're probably looking at 12, 13, 14,000 pounds for a low mileage example or a rare color, for example, you're looking at 25 plus. Now that is a lot of dough to drop on a car and then you've got to pay all of these extra funds on top of that. So keep that in mind. If you can buy the car, you might not be able to run the car. So think about it. Now, we all know it's an M3 and they're rear wheel drive. So you're gonna probably need a few of these every so often. Now I have Pilot Super Sports on the rear, PS4S is on the front. Now for this rear tire alone, and bear in mind, you have to buy two of these, 215 pounds plus that. So 
if you're going to buy one and you're going to be sending it all over the shop and you're going to be burning through these tires just remember you can't put cheap tires on because the back end will step out on you quite a bit and you'll probably lose the car so you're going to have to put top quality tires on and you're looking at around 200 pounds plus per tire now we're going to go on to the biggest payment you're probably going to have to make on this car unless you're a little bit up in true english fashion it started to rain anyway insurance for those of you who don't know i'm 24 years old and it was probably stupid of me to buy this car yes and again try and insure it now for a 24 year old like me it does differ with area job title stuff like that so you can tweak it a bit but for me this car cost me two thousand two hundred pounds per year to insure it <laughs> ridiculous so that is 2200 for the insurance 770 for tax so just to get this car legally on the road and me allowed to drive it is just under three thousand pounds and i haven't even drove it yet now i don't want to put you off with all these figures on the car because yes they are expensive but it is a fantastic car and they look incredible and it's an m3 so you're probably going to want to pay for it anyway but it is extortionate three thousand pound a year just to put this car on the road for myself anyway it might differ for some for me three grand a year i'm not trying to put you off but it's very expensive now if you like me and you like modifying cars you can bet yourself that you're probably not going to want to modify this because it is very very expensive a lot of the parts of these cars you want to buy are carbon fiber now i've got carbon fiber front grills on this and a carbon fiber rear spoiler gloss black ones in my opinion just don't do it justice you're gonna want the carbon fiber ones now they actually came with the car so i was lucky i didn't actually have to buy them but in my head i thought i'm gonna buy an e 903 and i'm gonna modify it straight away i was sadly mistaken and the harsh reality is no i wasn't because they are very expensive just for a carbon splitter for the front is 400 pounds and i definitely cannot afford that considering i have to pay for everything else on this car so yeah if you're going to buy it to modify it make sure you've got a bit of money on the side suspension wheels splitter kits carbon fiber engine covers whatever you want to buy it's going to be costly <laughs> nothing is cheap on these cars and now it's time for the big one how much do i spend on fuel in this since my ownership and i know what you're thinking that's a lot of receipts and yes it is that's a lot of receipts i've kept every single receipt from every time i fueled this car up and i'm going to tell you how much it's just cost but i've just added it up and i actually want to cry oh my god you wait till you hear this now this absolutely breaks my heart to do these figures because i haven't done them yet this is the first time i've done them so I bought this car on the 6th of July this year. So it is now the 28th of August, that is seven and a half weeks. And there is 11 receipts there for fuel. Now I only fill this up with Tesco Momentum, so it's 99. So that is the most expensive one. And with fuel price at the minute, it's very expensive. Now, the cost, 11 times I've filled this up and I fill it from about 30 miles all the way to full. 932 pounds ah, ah. in seven weeks seven and a half weeks that breaks my heart so with some quick maths that will equate to 124 pound per week since i've owned this car now that is absolutely heartbreaking that actually makes me want to be sick because that is absolutely outrageous and you've got to think that fuel money on top of the tax on top of the insurance on top of the maintenance that is extortion so if you're going to buy one of these cars don't forget the cost of the car and then running the car because that is how much it's going to cost you to run this car on a day-to-day -day basis weekend cars it'd be different but i daily this so on a daily spectrum that is how much i'll be spending per week now if you're not going to daily this car and you are going to use it as a weekend car you aren't going to use half as much as i have but i daily this car and it was probably the most stupid decision i have ever made so probably don't daily them probably just buy as a weekend car like most normal people do 
I was just being stupid and reckless. Now let me know what you guys spend on these cars. I know a few people watching this will probably think that is ridiculous. So put it in the comments what you actually spend per week on fuel on this car, because I would love to know the difference. But that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.